a solution to the cancer problem. To manage cancer without toxicity is to simultaneously restrict the two fuels that are needed to drive this dysregulated growth while transitioning the whole body off to a fuel that the tumor cells can't use, which is fatty acids and ketone bodies. So when we take the cancer patients or the mice, we put them into a calorie restriction, lowering the blood sugar uh, that I said is one half of the two fuels. You can lower that down really, really low. And then we use specific drugs to target the glutamine. And together we can selectively restrict the two fuels while we transition the whole body over to, to ketones. We as a species evolved to be in nutritional ketosis for the, the majority of our existence as a, as a species, like one and a half million years. For, for centuries and centuries, thousands and thousands of years, our species, you and me, our ancestors, were always in a state of nutritional ketosis because there was very few carbohydrates in the environment for them to be consuming, right? So the cancer cell, the body, you and I could, if we stopped eating and we took a low carbohydrate diet and just did water only fasting, we would get into nutritional ketosis where the normal cells, our brain, our kidneys, our heart can be burning these ketone bodies because they have a good mitochondria and they can burn these fuels effectively. The tumor cells have a bad mitochondria. They can't burn those fuels. They're dependent on glucose and glutamine. We can replace glucose and glutamine with ketone bodies in the normal cells of our. So we selectively marginalize these tumor cells slowly over time. Uh, we, they slowly start to die. The blood vessels disappear and the body comes in and dissolves them.